Now we are getting on to transfer deadline day. This is the look of the team. And um yeah, we're just going to 9 hours left now in the transfer window, so Paradu Yeah, I'm not going to use the cash, to be honest with you, but I'm totally fine with him going. So, six hours left now. We have sold Yonut uh, Raju. And 875 k I'm thinking potentially in January I might want to move. Like... Because the team's good and all, but I think I want to leave after this season because what I'm what I'm planning to do at least is to play the important games. Maybe play like one game like a month, maybe. So that we could potentially have like maybe like maybe four or five episodes in the yeah um. We're just going to simulate now. We got an offer for Caprari, but I still feel like I'd like to have him because. Oh. Oh, by the way, um, somebody was asking me to find uh, Ronaldo's regen. Here he is. But I'm thinking I'd like to, maybe just sign him, um, where we go to the next team because I feel like this needs a spark and. This season is nice, but uh, I think so. We still need a season. Uh, oh, actually, long ago. Okay, we'll sell him. Two point nine. Wow, that's over his valuation. I'll take that. So now uh, it's about two hours left. So let's see here. Okay. Uh, not into our inbox, but. Let's take a look at our lineup. We got a, a ton of depth. To put it lightly, we have a lot of depth. Please, we have a lot of depth. And then, you think the first team is good? We still have a second team. That's just as good. That's just, just ridiculous. This team is honestly really good. Rashford Vieto up top. We got Meyer, Milo, Pereira, and Emery Moore. It's still an extremely solid team, so, and we still got Barty there, so, yeah, I'm not sure if we need Caprari, okay, 81, right? Mm, I think we could use Caprari, like, he might be more of a second team sort of thing, but I could still use him there, so I'm not going to sell him. Alright, well. Uh, Diego Reyes, no, he's not leaving. Why would I want to sell him? It just doesn't make sense. But either way, let's take a look at all the teams in the league and what they've done. Uh, Atlanta, sp Atlanta spent $5 million. Uh, Cagliari spent nothing. Uh, I don't know how what their name is. Kiel Verona, um... So spent 3.8 million and uh, sold for 4.4 million. Crotone spent 6 mil. Obviously, we spent uh, slightly much. 244 million point five million pounds, and we also sold 7.2 million of players. We, the Musa Juve bought uh, Musanda and Vogo, and obviously we bought Coman from them. Then um, uh, the team bought Mandragora. Sounds like a evil like monster. Then Napoli didn't really do much. Piscara didn't do much. Roma bought Cranavetter, but sold El Shavavi to us. El Sassuolo, nothing. Torino, nothing. Udinese sold... Uh, 9.5 million worth of players. Yep. Transfer deadline day is done. Alright, we're just going to simulate all the way to the game against Cagliari. Which we're going to simulate. So, the I'm probably going to play maybe three out of the six Champions League games. 
Maybe all? I'm not sure. Either way, um... Oh, we've only played two games, okay. I was gonna say. Oh, wow, okay, so... Last one, though. Ooh. That's not particularly good. Alright, well, um... Full team going. Can we... Grab an important victory? Alright, let's go into this game. Simulated, of course. And see if we can grab, uh, the... Huge victory. Either way now, uh... Actually, we are gonna put in the second team, though. See if I can grab a victory here against Cagliari. Come on, Inter. We won three to nothing. A good victory. So we move on and uh, continue training Conecast. He's gonna be a player who I'd like to bring along to the next team, maybe. I'm thinking right now, if there's any team I'd like to go to, it is Bayer Leverkusen. Because we'd likely have enough to get Milo, Conecast, and Ronaldo's regen. And those pretty much would be the three players that I'd want. Maybe Monaco too. But we are going to get into the first actual game of the episode. Then we're going to simulate these two games. And I'll consider it a test, but get into this game versus... Hoffenheim from the Bundesliga. Oh, and Martial's a red card. Great. Exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, well, this is the team we are going to go with. Coman, Neymar, and Mbolo up top. Milo, Sanchez, and Tillemans in the midfield. Then Grimaldo, Zuma, Laporte, Cancelo in the back. And the usual, dependable Jan Oblak back in the team up. So, I hope you guys are okay with me skipping a lot of the games, but I just don't feel the motivation to really play some of these games. Where I'm thinking, play the big games, and then next season I'll go back to that, but I still want to push forward with the series. I still like the series. Uh, it just needed a bit of a potential temporary revamp. Either way, uh, let's take our team into this game. We're getting into our first Champions League game of the season. So, we are starting off our Champions League journey against Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga. So, they are flying high currently in real life. And they are looking likely for Champions League qualification. They are losing Sebastian Rudi and Niklas Sule. Uh, to Bayern at the end of the season, but they still have a very solid up-and-coming team, and it does make sense that you'd see someone like them in the Champions League, which does make me think maybe FC um, Heidenheim, Hoffenheim might be a good team to use in the future. Either way, our lineup, like I said before, it is a 4-2-3-1. Uh, interestingly enough, I chose Neymar to play up top because I play sometimes uh, games of FIFA against my friend, and I find Neymar's a beast at center forward. Either way, um, Hoffenheim, they got uh, Kramerich up top. They're playing a 4-3-3 with Oliver Bauman in goal. It's Yuri Tillemans! It's one to nothing, and Yuri Tillemans smacks it in to the back of the net. It's one nil Inter Milan. Bauman could do nothing about it. A very well worked goal. Tillman showing some great strength. Good pass from Renato. Just cuts back behind the defender. And no chance from that range. Yeah, that is in. And as a goalkeeper myself, it is brutal to try to top those sort of uh, low shots from in close. So I really wouldn't question the goalkeeping there. One nothing enter. Let's go. Yeah, they're kind of lucky to still be in the, even in this game. <laughs> like we played so much better than them, but you know what? It's still a fairly tight game. So, come on Inter Milan, and um, let's be take our chances with Neymar, man. He's had some good moments. Just come on, he deserves. 
Oh, come on. Okay, that's got to be a penalty. Finally, okay. All right. That is a penalty for us. And Bikachich, I believe it is, takes down Neymar in the box. Clear as day penalty. And, uh, nah, Redonto's not getting this. It's Neymar, of course. He deserves this. Oh, Neymar puts it away. Neymar, with, I believe, his first or second goal for the club. And we have a 2 to nothing lead, and this game is likely done and dusted. And right into the corner. Not a very good penalty, uh, in reality. I, I wanted to see if I could just put a ton of power at the last second, but... Um, it went in. Who cares? 2 nothing. Let's go. This is what I mean about it not being that much of a challenge, because I'm not finishing in terms of my chances very well. But even then, I, I'm still, like, just in control of the game, so... It's come on! It's 3 nothing. And the game is done and dusted. Just a great performance from us, honestly. Really great performance. And Bolo just chips into the middle. There's nobody even close to Coman. It's free header. And we are just dominating this game. I don't think Hoffenheim have had a single shot on target. We are certainly doing pretty darn well. Well, uh, yeah. Let's just uh, see what we can do. Maybe make it even bigger scoreline. Okay. Oh, wow. And there we go. Three nothing. Could have been way more. And that's it. We. Uh, yep. We were just absolutely in control of that game. We were clinical though. And in addition, good for us, Besiktas and Monaco drew. So we are now by far top of the group. Which means I'm likely going to simulate the game against Besiktas because it's practically meaningless. Either way, that's going to be the end of the episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I will see you guys later. Peace!